Hello, I have a migraine right now, so I'm in bed, but the best thing ever just arrived, and that is my perfume bottle auction catalog. And this is, this is slothy. It's my heat sloth that I wear when I have a migraine. I got permission, so I'm gonna take you through the catalog and we're gonna look at all the beautiful perfume bottles that are gonna be available from the Perfume Bottles Auction, which is part of the International Perfume Bottle Association, and that's gonna be on April 28th in New York at 4 p.m. So let's look at this catalog, it's pretty amazing. All right, here is the cover, and it costs I think it was $60 to get the catalog. And at first I was like, why does it cost so much money? This is really nice. Like I'm going to keep this forever and I can't afford most of the bottles in here, but they're beautiful. And I'm just going to keep this like as a reference book. All right, take a peek inside. Also, we're not going to talk about my terrible nail polish because as we remember, I work with my hands and so my nail polish is constantly chipped oh my gosh look at how beautiful these bottles are the colors are just so vibrant oh, I love this like presentation box too it's incredible and I don't know if you can hear the drilling in the background um, I'm getting air conditioner right now, which I'm very excited about. Ooh, monkey face. Ooh, okay. I feel like this is my page. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I love these, like, they look like, like, black diamonds almost. Okay, I think I can actually afford that one. It says... Czechoslovakian purse bottle probably gonna go for between 50 and 75 okay okay there's one I can actually afford I love all of these though they're black like my soul love it Ooh. okay here's that gorgeous one that was on the cover I feel like my friend Annalise the archaeologist would really appreciate this one so let's see what it says extraordinary 1934 parfum de Berman, I don't know how to pronounce it. Plein lune sur la Nile, full moon on the Nile. Black crystal Egyptian revival perfume bottle and faceted stopper, obelisk shape with gilded brass base and cap, gilded and enameled hieroglyphics and decorative motifs on front. Two gold foil labels on the reverse. And it looks like they think this one will go for between thirty and forty thousand dollars. Wow, it's just the craftsmanship you can tell is just incredible. Oh, I love the colors on this one. That's beautiful. Oh, and a purse too. Yeah, I think they are also going to have other vanity items. So that's exciting. Here's the orange. From Parfum de Marcy. I did a video on this just a few days ago. There it is. And, ooh, okay. I couldn't read the card before, but it says, Seize the orange with one hand and put it back in the other. The slices containing the extracts will release by their own weight. Ugh, I want the orange so bad. It's so cute. So let's see what else we got. Ooh, look at that one. That's gorgeous. 1928, La Victoire Dore, the Golden Victory. Oh, here's some more black and gold ones. Oh, they're beautiful. I really like number 37. Let's see. Black crystal perfume bottle and stopper. Lustrous gold detailing to art deco floral motifs. Love that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and 1928. This one is a Deville Bis. I see a lot, a lot of those like really beautiful art deco atomizers that you see on Ruby Lane. All of them are Deville Bis. So I'm going to have to do a video on those at some point. 
Ugh, look at the floral is so pretty. Whoa, this is crazy. This is a World War I tank figural atomizer. Oh my god. Here's the Parfum de Marcy necklace and bracelet. Oh, and the glare is not great. There's the little perfume bottle, so that's how the bracelet works. Um, if there's a perfume fairy godmother out there that has fourteen to sixteen thousand dollars, I would really appreciate it if you'd contact me. Thanks. Okay, this one's really cool. This is number forty-eight, and it is a plastic vanity purse. Interesting. So it says it's got a removable watch, rope handle, silk tassel, black plastic tube holds glass perfume bottle with dauber stopper, an interior with powder space and puff mirror, two metal tubes, lipstick and coal. Oh, beautiful. That one, 500 to 700. Not bad. Ooh, and what do we have here? Some more compacts? Love this. Ooh, Shebra hand-painted blown glass perfume bottle. Oh my god, look at the butterfly papillon. Oh, beautiful. 600 to 800. Look at the box too. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay, this one looks like opals and that is just absolutely stunning. This one looks like Man in the Moon or something. Oh, look at the box on that. I love it. Ooh, and right here we've got an Ubi Gaunt compact as well as a mustache comb. Okay, number 67, we've got a fairy fan scent diffuser. Okay, okay. We've got a brow beauty case and a Dewberry Swans Down powder puff. Yep, I pretty much want all of it. Okay, here we go. Novelty perfume bottle. This is the Dog Fountain. Uh, this one is super rare because it says that the perfume maker almost went bankrupt due to the stock market crash in 1929. Here we've got an Elizabeth Arden music box. Oh, beautiful. Just look at all the detail on that. It's stunning. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Here is the main event. Look at this. This is the Scaparelli collaboration with Salvador Dali. Look at the clamshell. We love a Botticelli moment. <gasps> oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, one thing I want to point out are the sparrows in the sun. That was supposed to be kind of a, yay, we're so excited that World War II is over and now there's hopefully a lasting peace. Oh, sorry, there's swallows, not sparrows. Or are they the same? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that this bottle is stunning and goes for between ten and $12,000. So again, any uh, perfume fairy godmothers out there, hit me up. Oh, here's another novelty, telephone. Oh, and here's Scaparelli. This is Snuff. This is the one I talked about in my video on Scaparelli. This was one of the few men's colognes that she released. And so it comes in the pipe atomizer. And then you've got a bar of soap. Love it. Gorgeous. Look at these colors. Okay. These are just so beautiful and vi vibrant. That reminds me of... Marie Antoinette or Jean de Val or something like that or Ball. Beautiful. Here we go. A perfume burner. Stunning. Stunning. Okay. Here's here's some more Scaparellis. Here is a birdcage with some shocking figurines inside. And then... <laughs> dog perfume model cute here's a very ornate page i like this one it kind of reminds me of like a precursor to poison and now it looks like we've reached our holiday perfume bottle selection here we've got a 1914 booklet from guerlain when they opened their store on champ lc i just i want everything <laughs> 